Yo, what's going on people? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are doing how to edit your YouTube videos for free using uh, uh, no software or programs at all. That is right. We're going to be talking about a actually really, really useful website um, called panzoid.com slash tools slash video editor. That is the exact URL to get you to this free online video editor that you can actually go through the entire process of editing your videos and then finally export the video and actually have just a file which you can then um, convert and upload to YouTube. Very, very interesting. Don't worry, we're gonna be running through the entire process uh, start to finish basically on how if you are just not too uh, clued up on how to get yourself a variety of different programs or maybe just don't have the skill set required to actually be making these videos and uh, putting them out there but you still want to you just like I said don't have the required skill set to use a program this website is going to be great for you Pantoid.com free YouTube video editor. Okay, so this right here is our panzoid.com slash tools slash video editor. This is what will be linked down below for you guys to go ahead and click on. And pretty much it is extremely similar to my last video which I put together, uh, which went up last week, and that was the uh, how, how to make yourself a free uh, YouTube intro. And pretty much it was um, quite similar to this, so if you watch that, you'll basically be pretty clued up on how to use this little editor right here. Um, but if not, no worries at all. This right here is your tools on the side, okay? So pretty obvious stuff. Obviously, this is uh, your basic settings, your video resolution. Obviously, that's 1080p. You could put it all the way up to 4K or all the way down to 240p. Keep it on 1080p or 720p. Um, I, to be honest, it, it's, it may as well do 1080p, you know what I mean? Um, then over here is obviously where you can import all your clips. This right here is, uh, I guess you can edit more clips right there. Here, I believe, is a variety of effects. And here is where you export. So what we want to do is actually go and select some files. So I'm going to bring in the intro to my video that I uploaded last week. This right here is literally the intro um, of me just talking, I guess, to the video I put up on Friday of last week, which was the, uh, the, the, the free video intro video. So let me just find out where I'm actually talking. And just to give a good demonstration of Panzoid as a video editor, I'm just going to completely edit through a video or to a certain extent edit through it just to kind of test out all the little features, right? So let's have a look when I start talking. Okay, so that's where I started talking. We're going to go here and just go ahead and press that button right there. That is the split button. Or you can also press C and it will split it. So pretty much just like um, Premiere Pro. If you've ever used Premiere Pro, C is cut, of course. So now that we've cut it where I start talking, I'm just going to go ahead and drag it back to the beginning. Um, just play it, see if that's, that's looking all right. Hey, what's going on, people? Welcome back. A little bit laggy. A little bit laggy. I guess, fair play. It's, hey, what's going on, people? Welcome back. Fair play, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, <laughs> it's a video editor online, so it will be a little bit glitchy. But I like that. However, it's not too smooth. I kind of want to make a... Um, a fade in okay so I'm actually gonna go ahead and go to the uh, effects of this clip select the video clip to edit this is the one I want to edit and actually it is the pencil tool over here where you will now have access to the opacity the volume rotation size position whatever 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 so I actually want it to fade in of course so I'm gonna go ahead and go over to the opacity right here and I'm gonna go ahead and click a plus um, right here at the two second mark or nearly the three second mark right so that's gonna tell it that at the two second mark that is um, gonna be full opacity it's basically like setting a keyframe then I'm gonna go to the very beginning and go ahead and set another keyframe but change the um, what's called number from one to zero and now if I play it Hey, what's going on, people? Welcome back to yep. another YouTube video. There we go. Video. So, it's kind of annoying. I need to turn this down so we're not just listening to me chat shit, which we kind of are, to be fair, if you're watching this video anyways. But that is me right there, obviously, now fading in. So, I'm going to hey, go ahead and give on, that people? play Welcome again. Welcome back to another cool. YouTube video here. So, again, my mouth is not in sync. I mean, it is. It's just lagging too heavily right now to play it in real time. And basically nice, we've just added a very, very simple little fade. So that is the first thing that uh, I, I guess I've even really tried here. Okay, now let's just play this and listen to what I even hey, say, okay? On, Welcome back to another YouTube video here on my channel. My so I've just said welcome back to another YouTube video here on my channel. Now I want to cut it there and I want to basically just have this beginning bit, okay? Zooming in a little bit, okay? So... From right here, we are going to go ahead and do a plus. Actually, at the end, 
of this clip, we're going to go ahead and do a plus. So that obviously tells it that the size is 1080 at that point. Now I'm going to go to the beginning, put another plus, but just put the width to hmm, do, 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 1280 by 720. So it's actually half of the and size. So, welcome back to so now it is going to fade us in and actually bring me in like that. That doesn't look too good, does it? Instead, I'm gonna have the intro hey, fading on, in like that. Very, very, very YouTube cool. And then once on it, channel. once I say welcome back to my channel, I'm going to have this clip right here begin the fade in. And I'm actually going to add one way over there and go to the beginning of this and go ahead and actually just start having it fade in. Actually double this right here, okay? So what's 1920 times two? Right, 1920 times two, let's just say it's like 3,800 or something like that. <laughs> and the height is going to be 2,400 or something like that. And now let's see what this what this does. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how to make So now it's obviously zooming out. It looks pretty funny. Definitely looks pretty funny. I probably wouldn't do this effect normally. You know what I mean? If it was kind of just like a... um. A regular video I guess to be fair but it's definitely interesting <laughs> to say the least and I'm just gonna go ahead and just do a cut right there and now just go ahead and actually have a look at the proper effects tab because I want to see what sort of effects that they actually have so apparently they've even got chroma keys so you can even really you can even get rid of green screen and stuff like that apparently using this tool which is pretty crazy if you really can the color I'm going to use to get rid of is just a, a gray, and we'll see if it even does anything, right? So that's definitely not doing anything at all. Doesn't look like it. I, I guess the chroma key effect, we're just going to remove it. I just want to find an effect that's going to be cool. A cool effect. Okay, we've got the fish eye. The fish eye is for sure working. Ah! We can, we can suck me in like that. Look at that. <laughs> What the fuck? All right, so hold on. Let's just play around with doing a couple um keyframes with this. So I'm going to go ahead and add a keyframe there and a keyframe over here. But this time, it's going to be me bulged. And let's go ahead and have a look software at what the hell we're even dealing with. Needed. That is right. Of course, no software <laughs> and programs needed. Is, uh, uh, this is terrible, I swear. What the hell am I even doing with my life? I can't even believe it. Oh, no. Or the programs no. You put together a professional <laughs> YouTube intro. <laughs> All right, this is just weird as hell. I can't even lie. I'm just gonna keep on playing with the effects. Screw it. Why not? Now, now we're gonna have to cut it on a whole different part and see what else they, else they have. They actually have some really good stuff. I can't even lie. For a video editor online, the shit is great. Screw it. Fish eyes probably the funnest effect I'm, I'm even gonna get. I'm just gonna go ahead and bring this guy up so it's super close <laughs> on my chin. Oh, this right here is the future. Are you ready? Hold tight. This. Intro, and this is a wow. Really cool Do you see that? Where you, you see that? Intro, it just comes in straight from my chin. Intro. You would have no clue. You see, now if we go over here, we delete these guys. This is the only clip I care about now. We're going to start it. Intro, and this is a very, very cool Whoa. website where you can actually go on Whoa. and create and Wow. Who even saw that absolute masterpiece coming? I can't even believe it. What I'm going to do now actually is go ahead and set a point for the opacity and a point for the volume right there. Bring them to the beginning and have them on zero. Boom. So now if we play this, let's have a little look. Website where you can actually go on and Okay, the uh, the opacity is going to have to be removed actually because that chin effect is too good. It's too good. We can't cut that out. Look at that. That is the transition of a lifetime. Are you kidding me? Look at that. It comes in out of my chin. Damn. Now you cannot do that in any other video editor. That's for goddamn sure. I can't even believe that. Absolutely crazy. Absolutely 100% crazy. But yo, check it out. Thank you for watching today's video, guys. I've been Jack Ritz, Jack Cole. This has been um, a entirely free YouTube video editor. Actually, I'm, hold on. Oh shit, I messed up. I'm, I messed my camera up, but hold on, hold on, hold on. We are now just quickly going to walk you through how to actually save this because there's a key thing that comes with saving it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Blah, 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 blah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did I mess something up? Cancel the render. Start render. Nope. Hold on. Allow, but but I need to stop the render. Fucking hell. God, God damn it. What's going on? I don't want to render the entire thing, so I'm going to go ahead and split it there and just save that bit right here. So I'm actually going to render it as a web.m file. 
uh, it doesn't really matter what you render it as, but web.m um, is, is definitely probably the better one. Once you render it, that's the thing, you need to actually convert it into an MP4 file on a different program. So right now, it's just going to quickly calculate how long it's going to take to, uh, to render this out. And once it's rendered, guys, I'm going to come back and show you um, the program called Handbrake, which is a very, very useful program for converting file types into other file types. And pretty much, you are going to need a program like Handbrake to turn it into a web file um, to all the way an MP4 file and actually be able to upload this stuff to YouTube. But I'm gonna wait for it to download and we're gonna come back. Okay guys, and here it is right here. It is entitled Edit and it, uh, I just need to quickly open up Handbrake and actually show you the uh, the procedure of go ahead and converting your file into an MP4. You see it's appeared as a uh, web.m file. Obviously that's what we saved it as, um, but a web.m file unfortunately cannot um, be put into a video editor. And the video editor will just have absolutely no clue what this file here is. So I would suggest getting Handbrake. I'll link it down below. Go ahead and drag your file once you've rendered it off of the website into Handbrake. And go ahead and just uh, set a location. So I'm going to title it as Video Editor Free to my desktop. And then you're just going to want to uh, go ahead and click Start in code this will go ahead and save it to your desktop and it will be an mp4 file for example just like this one up here and you will be able to go ahead and put it um into and you will be able to go ahead and upload it to youtube so perfect boom guys thank you for watching the video if you enjoyed and this helped you out give us a like a uh, comment and even subscribe i upload videos every monday wednesday and friday all video editing video production, um, making money off video, stuff like that, all pretty much themed around the video production world. So cool stuff if you're into the video world as well. Thanks for watching. I'm the Jack Chris Jack Cole. Have a nice day and goodbye.